Hey everybody, I'm Crystal Baller and I'm gonna show you how to play Electric Relaxation by Tribe Called Quest on the bass. Uh, just a quick note before we begin. I have been getting a lot of requests to do more YouTube tutorials, and originally um, my YouTube channel was for people that take my Lady Rockstars classes, which is like people I actually physically know. Um, I have made a few of those videos public, and I've been getting requests for more videos, so I went ahead and made other videos public from that specific class series. Um, that being said, I'm I've got my own like school and a bunch of students and my own business and I'm really busy so I don't have time to like edit these down and I'm just going to give you all like rough, some rough cut videos and teach you to the best I can like one take through. Alright so with uh, this song, this song gave me hell when I first started trying it. I was still pretty rookie at that point but um. The rhythm's a little bit tricky and there's just like a lot of weird notes. It's like a cool, it's a really cool sound and bass line. Um, but it was one of the first like hip hop bass lines I learned that and I was like, oh wow, okay, hip hop's cool. I like it because I'm a, I'm a, like a rocky kind of girl, but now I like hip hop more. Um, so you're going to start on the second fret of the E string. I'm pretty sure this is from a jazz song too. They, they sampled this from a jazz song. Just cool, I like it. All right, second fret, pointer finger. Fourth fret, ring finger. Slide your ring finger up, or you can use your pinky, but most people are pinky powerless. Or, okay, then you're gonna go to with your pointer finger on the, um, what, fourth fret on the A string, and then fourth fret on the E string. Okay, so to recap so far, we have 2nd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the E string, and then you do a little 5th accent, so you're going to 7th uh, fret, no, you're not, you're on the 6th fret, um, on the A string, and then back to the 4th fret on the E string. And then 4th um, fret, A string, 4th fret, E string, 4th fret, D string. Okay, so another re slow recap. a walk up to our next note which um the walk up starts on the f all it's all on the a string fourth fret use your ring finger on the um sixth fret seventh fret with your pinky or ring finger okay so my amp's a little wonky sorry um seventh fret on the e, e string next so our walk up was here Four, six, seven. Seven on the E string. And then we're going up to the five on the A string. So four, six, seven, seven on the E, five on the A. Okay. So slow recap. Two, four, five. Sorry. Oh, yeah, then you do your um, fifth pop up. So, six, sixth fret on the A. Back to the four on the E. And this is a bunch of fours. So, four on the A, four on the E, four on the D. Then our walk 
hook up on the A string. So four, six, seven, seven on the E, five on the A, and then another walk up at the top. I think this is the loop starting over. Two, four. Oh, let me play it faster so I'm making sure I'm telling you right. end of that run uh, where we walked up then it just starts over again so the, I think the the song when he's like relax yourself girl reset your mind um that bit you're not playing and then you come in you come in actually on this note so you don't do that walk up at the very very beginning something here um like especially coming especially if you're coming into this like as a guitar player playing bass which i play bass first so this is like natural to me but um keeping your because you're playing bass you're like actually more on like the pad part of your fingers which is helpful because you're silencing the strings around it like for instance like when i'm playing the first note I'm still touching all the other strings. Like they're all already muted. So I'm not getting a lot of extra string noise. I mean, you can hear when I'm sliding up. But like pretty much the whole time I'm playing, my hands are like as flat as possible against as many strings as I can touch to keep my string noise minimal. And that will just help get your tone nice and uh isolated and not having all that extra like happening i mean i know i still get some i'm not perfect by any means but definitely helps um if you're like coming at it with your fingers really curled and like because you got to do that more on guitars um whenever you're doing like open chords and stuff so you aren't muting the notes as you're strumming that approach on bass doesn't work as well like as far as getting a nice like round pure tone um just a little the more you know all right i hope that this helps you and uh feel free to ask me to play more hip-hop because i'm digging it all right